I actually have to chuck my jandals down here because I've got no grip coming down. There goes one. There goes the other. I'll find them on my way down. Yo, good morning everybody. Welcome to our vlog from Akaroa. We have spent two fantastic days here. We really love this area and today is our third and final day. We're going to be heading out with Pohatu penguins and hopefully spot some penguins on our little kayak tour. Yeah, either way it's going to be great. We're going to grab some food to eat because our penguin trip is not for a couple of hours. I found a great spot nearby called the General Store which sells croissants. <laughs> and we've got another glorious day to finish up our time here in Akaroa so we're very thankful for that. Join us for this journey. It's gonna be a good one. <laughs> breakfast has just arrived and I'm not a huge breakfast person so I normally just have an up and go but since we're kayaking today I thought it'd be good to have something a little bit savory so I've got myself a savory muffin this brings me back memories of school camp for some reason I don't know why I think it's because we had a lot of muffins during then that's nice and warm gives me that little saltiness that I like if I'm gonna have to eat something in the morning. <laughs> but I think uh, Peter's got the main thing here with his croissant. Let's turn it over to him. I'm gonna start with some of this salmon bagel. Spread that cream cheese well on that bread and grab a nice chunk of salmon there. Oh man, that looks good. Perfect way to start your morning off. Mm. I can really get the taste of the sesame seeds on the top of that bagel. Crisp up just a little bit and the salmon wonderfully smoked with the cream cheese. And since we're in a French town I have been craving croissants for some reason <laughs> for and so now <laughs> that we finally found a place that does it I can't wait to have a bite of it. It feels really good, really buttery. Let's get some of this jam on here. What? Are you gonna open it up? Just for ease I'm gonna put it on top instead. <laughs> of course, normally you would open it up and slice it in the middle. I got no time for that. <laughs> mm. Wow. So many layers of buttery goodness and the goodness is amplified by the fact that we're in the most French town in New Zealand. Yen <laughs> <laughs> and I are just gonna polish off these meals real quick before we head out on the kayaks, so. just arrived at Pohatu Penguins. Everything is actually really close in this town so getting around is really convenient. You can just kind of walk if you want to and uh, the prices for this place were just shy of $200 for Yen and I. We're just waiting for our four-wheel drive to pick us up now and then we're going to be off very soon. We're doing a four-wheel drive scenic sea kayaking safari. This, huh? Oh my goodness, it's amazing. We only drove for a couple of <laughs> minutes and we are 250 meters elevated for this insane view. You can also see where we were yesterday, which would have been in last week's vlog. Just over there. Out there, on our way car, we did that little walk. Like it's just structure. stunning, nice absolutely video. stunning. Yeah. We're inside the crater of the volcano, I think Kevin, our guide, said. Stop more grey sites and we found a really interesting plant up here. We just asked Kevin for the name of it. It's called Corprosma, I think it was, and apparently it grows inside out. It's such an interesting texture and yeah. um, even the look of it. it. <laughs> yeah, it's just crazy. <laughs> We're about 700 meters up now. 
and the elevated views are just insane. Very windy though. <laughs> I can't wait to mock Ian about her full <laughs> outfit here. Well, I have got a spray skirt on, so does Peter. But I did go for one of these jackets because I usually get really cold and I don't want to suddenly be really freezing. Even though it is a very sunny day, I know the air is quite chilly. So yeah, I'm covered up a lot more than Nice Peter. outfit. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Here's my spray skirt too. We are ready to go. Hello. Oh, you're a friendly fella. <laughs> now, do you guys remember those dresses that we're wearing? You can actually stick them up around the kayak thing. Oh, we awesome. tight. There we go. Now, the water can't come in. Genius. All right, guys, we are off. We can already see some fur seals on our left, but yeah. not, it's not going to be super close for you guys. <laughs> it's the hard job of paddling today. Yeah, I was just going to say, I've got the cruisier job of a camera woman, <laughs> and I'll occasionally help with paddling. We've just spotted the first little penguin. I don't know if you can see him, he's up there. Between the shaking, shaking. Yeah. What a cute little guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a light colored one and it's they're called little penguins apparently. Yes. And it's about to molt soon, so that's why it's that it's that color. Hopefully you can see him right there. So cute. Oh, he's climbing up. Oh man. Adorable. <laughs> Getting a few little swells here as we're making our way over across to the opposite end over there. Peter is hard at work because it's quite tricky for me to okay, both hi. camera and pedal at the same time. So thank you for doing all the front work. You can see a ton of these caves along the way and all the different colors of the rocks. It's all from the volcanic eruption that happened millions of years ago. Any chance you do get to see animals in their natural habitat, it's an awesome one. How privileged are we to be able to be kayaking right up next to seals, even saw a penguin, so that was a massive plus. Our guy Kevin has been amazing, he's so super knowledgeable, just a huge fount of knowledge. Yeah, absolutely. It makes the whole experience a lot more fun. Oh, there's so many of them here on these rocks. Oh, that's a huge one over there. Look at that one. Yeah, Ooh, just looking out. Kevin was just telling us that later in the day is when more of the penguins will come back out and socialize over here. And some of them will actually climb up this crazy hill and go all the way to the top where those pine trees are. And that's about 200 or so meters up. That is that's insane. That's no easy feat for a tiny little penguins. Exactly. <laughs> Awesome guy Kevin is going to explain <laughs> a little bit about the conservation effort that has well, been done in this entire work. area. Yeah. Conservation work has been happening for about 30 years uh, here on the in the area, and it's four big actions. It's uh, trapping, obviously, eh? uh, getting rid of the predators that have been introduced like everywhere else around New Zealand. Eh? Um, providing small houses, and we can see a few a bit of a hobby town village there, <laughs> and with a lot of penguin houses everywhere. Um, so you know, the big thing for us there is we can check on the colony and see what's happening, like predators, disease and so on. Um, we have a special license as well from DOC uh, to handle birds and to um, 
I keep them in care for like a week, two weeks, five weeks, really depending on the need of the birds. And when they're, when they're ready, we take them to the beach and poof, they bag you off most of the time. <laughs> uh, and, and another action is farming. Uh, it is very intriguing, but actually yeah, having sheep around is very important. Uh, it's, um, it's proved just to, uh, we were able to control a bit the population of predators because the grass that we have around is a grass that has been introduced as well. Um, and it's a grass that seeds. And if you have seeds, you have rats and mice. And if you have rats and mice, you have all the big predators. And so, yeah, so it is very important and, and everything kind of play a role. Yeah. And so, uh, so, yeah, so it's those four actions have been happening for about 30 years. Um, and it's actually mainly funded by tourism. And so it's great to have people like you just kind of yeah, coming around and kind oh, of talking okay. about it and spreading the word. Nice. So thank you. Nice. <laughs> thank you. Thanks for having it's us. such an awesome tour. You're welcome. made our way inside the souvenir store and Jens actually picked herself up some goodies or actually they're for gifts. <laughs> yeah, I think we found some really good ones. We've got some locally handcrafted soft toys. Look at this cute ass little Hector's dolphin made by, here we go, Ms. Moyes. <laughs> and a little, cro do you call this crochet? Yes. Crochet bee. Yes. <laughs> Which I thought was super cute. But also a coloring book here. That was done by Kevin's wife. She did all the drawings. Wow. Isn't that That's amazing? Cool. I think Myra really liked that one. Yeah. Only a couple of minutes drive away and since we were in the area, we thought we'd go check out Newton's waterfall, which it says is about 20 minutes to get there and back. So I think it's a short little track but I don't know if we're actually going to see a waterfall because it hasn't been raining the last couple of days and it's one of those that could, you know, be a little bit of a rock. less of a stream <laughs> yeah, than, than um, other waterfalls. So we'll see how our luck goes. Getting a full body workout today. First it was my arms from the kayaking and now my legs from the hill. Yeah. How are you going bud? A little bit of a steep climb up at the start of this walk and now we're finally getting a bit more downhill I guess. So that's good. But yeah, tiny bit out of breath <laughs> just from that initial start. Whew. That was pretty fast, huh? Yeah, I think it literally took us about five minutes to get here. Yeah. And um, I'm gonna estimate, uh, I think this waterfall is maybe seven or eight meters tall, so it's not the most highest waterfall that we've seen, but it's in a lovely green lush area. Yen and I have heard that if we scale this other area here, we may be able to see a second waterfall, so we'll see how that goes. I'm just kind of glad that it's actually a waterfall and not yeah. just a stone. <laughs> He's just heading off on his own up that really steep part. So I came up looking for this second waterfall and it's actually quite a steep route up here. Have not found a waterfall. But we'll continue to go around. Hopefully we can make our way back over to Yen. I wasn't even able to vlog because that's how steep it was and there's no real clear path so I'm gonna have to try navigate my way back to her. Here goes. I actually have to chuck my jandals down here because I've got no grip coming down. There goes one. There goes the other. I'll find them on my way down. Because otherwise, this mud is like super slippery and very, very steep. Whew. Bit of an adventure. Oh. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's Peter coming down this very steep side track that he found. Oh, 
I wonder what he saw up there. Okay, here's another jandal. Make sure I got a good hold of this. Sweep it down. All right, it's off. We've saved it. I'm just gonna use this as a little rope bridge. Get down here. Oh, okay. We can see you in down there at the waterfall, hey bud? You're right. That was pretty difficult. Ah, uh, I didn't see very much, that's for sure. I'm glad to be back down here. So, here's a little bit of information. If you are coming to the waterfall and you're tempted to go and see the second waterfall, I certainly could not find it. You guys might have better luck than me. I do not recommend. It is a difficult climb up there <laughs> and even more difficult coming back down. All right, guys, we've made it back to the start of the car park and I think we're gonna wrap things up here for our Akaroa vlogs. Yeah, it's been an amazing time out in Akaroa in the Banks Peninsula. We hope you will check out our other vlogs if you haven't seen them already from this area because it has been stunning and lots of great memories. Yeah, and the next vlog, we're gonna be heading over to Timaru for some more adventures. So we hope you are subscribed to our channel. We'd love to have you join our community. Please drop us a comment and leave us a like on this video. That kind of thing super helps our channel, so we really appreciate it. All right, guys. Catch you next Next week. time. See ya. See ya.